It's now time for Tech Tips with Daniel Groders, brought to you by Niz Tech Lifts, your number one source for off-road parts and accessories. Welcome everyone to the very first episode of Xterra Performance, product review and cool stuff for Nissan trucks. I'm Danny uh, Groat, as some of them call me, and I'm here to just kind of tell you about all these cool things. So today what we have that I'd like to bring to you um, is a big Titan swap that you may have heard or may not have heard about. So Nissan Xterras and Frontiers were both built on basically the same platform as the Titan. They all kind of share an F, F platform, I believe it is. And so what happens is, is they have a lot of the same mounting spots for all their suspension. So I want to show today um, what we have difference between the two and how you can swap suspension parts to gain a lot more suspension travel and make the most out of your truck. So the basic stuff that you want to know about are differentials. You can swap out your R180 differential, which is this one right here. This is what comes stock in an Xterra and a Frontier from 2005 um, up to current or Xterras are now discontinued. <laughs> So here's the, the M2, uh, I'm sorry, the R180 diff. Um, you'll notice I have like rags stuffed in the corners here. That's because this has a, um, in this diff, your half shaft, which would go from, um, from your differential to your actual hub. On this one, it would have a spline axle that slides in there, or a spline um, shaft that slides in there. And that's on both sides, and that would go out to your wheels. That's, that's how those are built. Um, and it's a great differential, unless you really, unless you put a locker in it, really go beat it up. Um, that's when you're going to start seeing a little bit of problems. I've seen a lot of guys um, break that shaft inside there. It's a little bit of a bear to get it out. But it's a great differential, and I've taken one on a lot of trails, never had any problems. A lot of guys, when they're doing what they call the Titan swap, will swap over to a Titan differential. This is an M205 differential. Uh, it's got a larger gear set and it's a little bit heavier duty. Um, this one here is a three spline. So these uh, differentials were made for the Nissan Titan. This one, uh, the three spline was a later production and the two spline isn't quite as good of a differential. So if you're ever talking or hearing people talk about um, the, the three, I'm sorry, it's a three rib. If you hear people talking about like the three rib or two rib, uh, they're talking about basically these um, built-in uh, cooling ribs, I guess you would call them, on the differential. So the difference between the R180 and this one is that it's a bolt-on half shaft, meaning these hubs right here bolt on to the half shaft, and that's what goes to your wheel. So if you break a CV joint somewhere in here, you can bolt that off, pull it out, slide it in, and bolt it on. It's a pretty easy trail fix. One more reason why it's a little bit better to have that axle on top of the extra strength, etc., uh, etc. Et so, what else does a uh, Titan swap get you? So, the Titan swap, this is a standard A arm. This is my old A arm out of my Frontier. Um, it's no big deal, it's just an A arm, nothing exciting there. This is the Titan A arm. So, the Titan A arm is about three inches longer per side or approximately. Your, your actual wheelbase will get about three inches wider per side um, when you switch from the standard Nissan suspension to a tight Nissan suspension. This is the stock upper A-arms. As you can see, the Titan is much longer. So why do we want to go longer? The longer your wheelbase is, or the wider your wheelbase is, the more travel you can pull out of that wheelbase. It's further out, you're not putting as much strain on the half shafts. If you imagine you lift your truck, that's the strain you're going to put on the half shaft at that angle. Um, when you're wider, there's, there's less of an angle when the wheel is set out further. So that's one of the reasons you can get more lift, run a bigger tire out of a, the M205 diff with the half, half shafts or an R180 with a longer shaft. So, what do we do about tie rods when we swap? Here's your stock tie rod out of a uh, out of a Xterra or Frontier. Um, so what they also sell is that you can either buy a spacer, which you just put in there to, to extend that, that tie rod, or you can get tighten inner and outer tie rods and then you're good for both sides. 
So, one more thing. If you'll notice, when I held these up, the Titans are exactly the same width. This is the, the Titan in the Frontier upper control arms. They're the, same, they're, the, they're the same width, the same mounting points, everything except the Titans longer. So you can actually swap in the Titan suspension straight into a Nissan Frontier or a Nissan Xterra and it will all bolt straight in. All the mounting points for the differentials are the same. And that's how you get a larger, stronger suspension kit out of, you know, you could go buy junkyard parts. Now, there's a lot of manufacturers that are now manufacturing um, different parts so that you can kind of upgrade to a Titan swap uh, at a much better performance level. Mistech Lifts right now offers a full Titan swap where you don't even have to change this. You just buy the extended axles. You have uh, replacement upper control arms so you get a better ball joint up here. You get a better ball uh, bushings on the inside. You get a longer coilover. High performance coilover, a 2.5 shock body, and uh, that's a it's a great kit. So that's the basics of your Titan swap kit. If you have questions, please check, throw them in the comments. I'll be there to answer anything I can. I may have missed something. I may have got something wrong, but uh, you know I'm I'm more than happy to help you out. Make sure to check out NiztechLifts.com to check out all the different suspension parts. They are always there to answer phone calls and answer questions from, from you. Um, they'd be more than happy to help out in any way they can. Thanks, guys, and we'll look out for another video coming soon.